Good morning and happy Friday. I don't know about you, but I am super excited. Today's Friday. Can I get a whoop whoop on three? One, two, three. Whoop whoop. All right. Um, we spend a lot of time, energy, and effort in creating welcoming, safe, and comfortable climates and cultures for all of our students. We do things like create theme days, field days. We do chants, cheers, spirit weeks, spirit days. As administrators, we greet our students with a smile and a handshake at the front of the school as they come in. During the day, we give lots of hugs and high fives. Probably more hugs at the elementary level than my level, but um, we learn hundreds of new names every school year. And at the end of the day, when our kids get on the school bus and on their bikes to head home to their families, we give them a smile and a wave. And we do all of these things each and every day in creating this welcoming, safe environment for our kids. And doing so, that means that they will come back to school the next day. And when they come back to school, they come back as happy and eager learners. They're far more engaged with their peers and in their learning. And this ultimately will help propel them successfully in their education. Today, Freeman and I have the privilege of being able to present and share with you three signature uh, practices in SEL. And these are intentional strategies that can be used throughout the school day. Today, we want to challenge you to think about you using these strategies in your in your future staff PDs, in your uh, nightly events with your families, as well as modeling and encouraging your teachers to be able to use these same strategies as well in the classroom. And to give you a little bit more information about the SEL three signature practices, we have a short clip to share with you. Think about your last meeting or professional development engagement. How did it go? Sometimes we can lose track of how adults learn best when we feel rushed or the topic is urgent. Here are three simple social and emotional learning practices that can help you create an effective learning space for adults, even when time is tight. First, start with a welcoming routine or ritual. Then make sure there are engaging communication practices along the way. Finally, end with an optimistic closure. When carefully chosen, well facilitated, and thoughtfully debriefed, the three signature social emotional learning practices create a solid foundation of safety and joy for adult learning. They're also aligned with culturally responsive teaching, restorative justice, PBIS, and trauma-informed practices. Why do they work? The three signature social-emotional learning practices are based on research on adult learning. The research tells us that adults learn best when they are involved in their own learning, can use their own experiences, and are working with topics that are immediately relevant and problem-centered. You may already be using some of these practices in your meetings and professional learning engagements, consistently building them in and intentionally connecting them to the goals of each session is what makes them powerful levers of change. First, let's look at welcoming rituals and routines. The predictability of a routine to open a gathering helps establish safety and inclusion. It promotes contributions from all voices, sets norms for respectful listening, and allows people to connect with one another to foster a sense of belonging. Opening routines also provide a bridge into your goals for the engagement. For example, begin a meeting by checking in with colleagues through a simple sentence starter like, a success I recently had, one thing that's new in my life is, or a mindful minute of calm and silence to bring everyone into the meeting. Remember that your activity works best when carefully chosen to connect to the work at hand. Next. Let's look at engaging practices. Engaging practices foster relationships, cultural humility, empowerment, and collaboration, and involve participants in their own learning. 
Some examples of engaging practices include 30 to 90 seconds of silent think time before inviting your team to share out, turn to a partner to discuss, make sense of new input or generate ideas, and varying interactions in partnerships, triads, small groups, and as a whole group. These practices also include brain breaks, valuable moments to switch gears to integrate new information into long-term memory. Otherwise, that new learning can soon be forgotten. The third signature social and emotional learning practice is the optimistic closure. End each meeting or professional learning session by having participants reflect on and then name something relevant that helps them leave on an optimistic note. This provides positive closure, reinforces their learning, and creates momentum towards taking action related to the problem or topic of the meeting or professional learning engagement. For example, you can optimistically close a meeting with a reflective question such as, what are my next steps? Or, what's the next conversation I'm gonna have about this and with whom? You can also invite each participant to offer an appreciation connected to the work or for another participant's contributions. Used thoughtfully, these three signature practices are key to creating a welcoming, productive, and collaborative work environment. Okay, is that one working? All right. Uh, so looking at the three practices that we have up here, welcoming routines and rituals, um, and really talking about inclusion in the building. Um, and when we look at all these um, at Damani, we are um, including adults in this. And so we, we placed a large focus on that uh, within the building, not just using SEL with our students, but sharing that with our teachers and modeling that for them. Um, engaging pedagogy, uh, sense making, and brain breaks. So again, teaching them things that we, they can use inside the classroom, but we're also gonna be doing that um, and all of our PLCs and our staff developments and so on. Um, and then lastly, optimi optimistic closure, uh, reflections, connections, and looking forward. Um, and what's really important um, for us over at Damani when we're, when we're looking at this is when we end our PDs, we look at uh, what are we gonna do at the end? And so we always um, are very, very um, planned out in terms of how we are setting that up at the end and looking at a celebration um, at the end of every single PD we do, and then also looking at next steps in that order. Um, so real quickly, we're going to show you a few things that we do over there. Um, just some pictures that we're going to pop up here, and I'm going to kind of walk you through uh, what you're seeing up there. And so the first one up there is um, a picture of our uh, cafeteria, or what we call the commons, at Damani during the staff opening at the beginning of the year. And we put a lot of effort into changing how that entire room looks. Um, our theme in this one is bringing everything back to the ranch. And I think one thing that um, I've noticed with our employees is is, is that this starts the trend for the entire year. And so um, when they come to our staff PDs or they go to their PLCs, um, they learn our norms and they learn what the expectation is and they learn how we want those meetings run because um, we are using SEL within those meetings um, every single time that we meet. And just, just to add to that, you can see on that one picture, you see a lot of smiles. And one of the most important things for us at Damani Ranch is when most teachers come back from a summer, we want to kick things off with high energy and know that we appreciate all their amazing and hard work and we want them pumped up and excited and ready to go for the school year. And so changing the environment and creating a fun atmosphere, uh, you'll see in there if you look close enough that uh, each of the staff has a tool that, that they picked up this year and that tool is a tractor stool. And we use that tool throughout the school year in our professional developments. And why? Because they're on wheels and it provides easy and quick opportunities for us to get into small groups and then to change into groups. And you'll see in a later slide that our teachers bring these down uh, on a leash. They'll be sitting in them and scooting down the hallways and it's fun and it's engaging for our staff. So one of the other things we do, we have a very short video here for you, um, and we set this guy up, obviously, but um, this is something we've really focused on in our school. And one thing, if, you, if we could play that one more time, if you look at it, um, one thing that we notice is we always, the students are smiling, but look at our teacher. Our teacher is also smiling. He's engaging with the kid. And as they come in, it's not a hello or a handshake, it's a high five. 
And so as administrators, we're walking through the building and seeing this, and we have uh, tickets that we've created um, that say sel in it. And so we go through and we hand these out to teachers, and then when we have our staff PDs, they can come in, turn their ticket in um, for whatever our prize would be for that week. And so we're definitely recognizing them and celebrating some of the, even the small things that they're doing. So when we're sel in is what we call it, when we're sel in throughout the day and we give our teachers their tickets and they will come seek you out too if they were doing some sel in and we didn't see it, they'll say, hey, where's my sel in ticket? And so it's amazing, we fill up the bucket when we have our PDs and at the end of the PD, uh, the most recent awards and they love it is we pull out a name and that teacher gets to choose one of the administrators or one of our SEL coordinators uh, to come cover their freshman seminar or instructional center or sophomore seminar and they can go prep or do whatever they want and then we get to teach the class and so it's cool stuff. So this picture right here, this was this past Wednesday, you'll see our teachers, they're cruising down to uh, our staff development on their stools and it was a quick easy way for staff to get together in their small groups and we can mix them up throughout the PD as well. Um, this is, an op oh, sorry. this is an opportunity for us to, to focus on that second, that second practice, which is the engaging pedagogy. And so this past week, uh, we want to ensure that every time that we meet with our staff, that it's not a sit and get. And can you imagine the attention span, even with our high school kids, but with adults? especially if they have technology. So you gotta make sure that it's not a sit and get. So we're very intentional in making sure that we provide opportunities for uh, staff to be able to have conversations about the learning, uh, what we're teaching, to have an opportunity to be able to process that information as well as to be able to share amongst each other. The other piece uh, that is an area probably of growth for us that we're continuing to focus on is having that optimistic closure in regards to what are our next steps. Um, this past week we had professional development and our focus was on a data walk. Uh, we had an opportunity for our staff to really take a close look at our data. Uh, what is it telling us? Where are our strengths? Where are our areas that we could focus on for growth? And then in the end, one optimistic uh, closure that we did is we had them in their small groups. They each had to come up with one word that would best describe what they are planning to do next uh, with the information that they gathered and learned for the day. And they were able to share that uh, within their groups and we were able to close and move forward. So. Okay, so um, SEL three signature practices, uh, we have a little something for you guys to read. Um, we were planning on having a, um, a uh, worksheet out there for you, uh, but we're actually gonna go into the book a little bit. And so you have this book in front of you, um, the uh, three signature SEL practices looks like this. And so what we're gonna ask you to do is just read silently for a few minutes and annotate um, on page five, which is where we're starting. And just read silently and annotate. Um, and look at what resonates with you, um, what you connect with, and what you think you can connect with at, at your school, and then what raises a question or concern. And then we have a little activity we're going to jump into after this. So as you guys finish up, um, what we're going to do is have some discussion at the table, um, looking at the three questions that we have up on the slide up here. And um, we're just going to kind of come around and listen to some of the conversation. Okay. We're gonna ask that we finish up your conversations. All right, moving forward. So, the SEL department, and you guys have already, you already see this on, on your table. The SEL department has provided a super cool playbook. And I gotta tell you, there's 36 strategies in this book that you could take back to your sites today and implement with your staff. Um, I had just received this, this recently from Tricia and was able to you know, cruise through this book and find a quick strategy and use it with my staff, uh, which I was able to use uh, this week. 
So what we're going to ask you to do is we're going to give you three minutes to cruise real quickly through your book, and you're going to choose one strategy out of the 36, not one per category, but just one strategy, whether it's welcoming, whether it's an engaging strategy, or whether it's an optimistic closure. But we want you to choose one strategy that you would like to try at your site, and then be prepared to share the strategy, why you selected that strategy, and then when do you, when do you hope to use that strategy? We're gonna give you three minutes, go. Okay, all right, so for this next activity, we're gonna model quickly for you what that's gonna look like. We need a volunteer, do we have a volunteer in our audience? I got one right here. Mr. Holbrook. Oh, right here. awesome. Joy. Joy. Thank you. Thank Principal you so much, at the Give it up for Joy. Awesome. Woohoo! Okay. So, in a moment, all of you guys are going to find a partner. And when I say go, you're going to take your playbook with you and you're going to touch three tables. And then whoever you're closest to, that is going to be your partner. Okay. So, we're going to start there. So, Joy, go. Touch three tables. One, two, and three. And look who your partner is. It's Mr. Freeman. Oh, right no, here. he's right behind oh, you. Right here. He's, oh. oh, okay. okay. <laughs> so you're gonna first introduce yourselves. Hi, I'm Freeman. Hi, I'm Joy. Okay, and then you're gonna you're gonna go back to back. And at that point, once I see everybody's back to back and they have a partner, then I'm gonna say go. And then when I say go, one of you will have two minutes to be able to share what, what strategy that you've selected, why you selected, and when you plan to use it. We'll probably make that about a minute, minute, 10 seconds, okay? Once that minute, 10 seconds is up, you'll switch to the other partner. The other partner will share what their strategy is that they plan, that they plan to use. Uh, why they selected it and when they plan to use it and then I'm going to give you a quick 30 seconds just to be able to bull talk now remember during this time when that person is sharing their strategy the other person has to listen no talking okay good thank you joy give it up for joy for volunteering okay are we clear all right, so the first task, you're going to touch three tables and partner up with someone that you're closest to. Ready? Go. Yep. <laughs> Introduce yourselves, and then you're back to back. Once you're back to back, I'll know you're ready. Once you're back to back, I'll know you're ready. Once you're back to back. One of the reasons why we do the back to back is because it, it's hard to talk when you're back to back. All right, okay, here's your first minute. Ready, go. You can turn and share. Okay, wrap up your conversations. Partner number one. And switch, other partner, go. Now, here's the fun part. Some of you are already participating in this. Both of you have an opportunity to talk with each other at the same time. Go. Okay, give your partner a high five and head back to your seats. Good job, everyone. Okay, we're going to wrap things up real quick uh, with the... Uh, Reflection, we're gonna skip the share part for now just because of time. But looking up here, something to take away is when will you bring this back to your site, uh, into your office, thinking about the next step for this process, and then how will you empower and encourage staff to be intentional about implementing the SEL3 signature process? 
Thank you guys so much, and we'll see you soon. Thank you.